Well, hey guys, Alex here with my standard cup of coffee. And I want to say welcome to new subscribers. This is a new day on this channel. You guys know I like to have a cup of coffee uh, when I'm looking at cards or especially when I'm doing a cup of coffee video. Maybe it's a glass of bourbon. But what you might not have known all this time, there's been an Easter egg. I've had these Fatima ceramic coasters that I've been putting my cups of coffee on. So I found these probably about a year ago online and got four of them. And as you can see, somebody took the design of the Fatima uh, T200 card of the Philadelphia Phillies and put it on the coaster and snagged that up pretty quickly. Uh, in the back of my mind, I was also kind of thinking, hey, maybe I'm going to go after some pre-war cards after the 53 Bowman set was completed. Well, as you guys know, the set is complete and it's time to move on. So my very first card of 2020 is in fact the real card itself, T200 Fatima cigarettes of the Philadelphia Phillies of the National League. So you can see this is the uh, 1913 uh, team photograph. And in my book, this is the most fun of the Fatima team photos because look at that front row. Those guys are basically in a pileup and having a good time. Uh, there are a couple notable players on this card. Most of the T200 cards have at least a couple Hall of Famers across them. So up top you have Epa Rixey. He is a Hall of Famer. A pitcher, he had 266 wins as a lefty. But the most notable one is going to be Grover Cleveland Alexander. At first he's kind of hard to pick out, but he's in the uh, pile of a guys uh, in the front row. So 1913 was a pretty good year for the Phillies. Uh, they ended up in second place behind the New York Giants with 101 wins. And two years later, they would actually win their very first National League pennant. So I kind of feel like maybe that's why these guys are so uh, loose in the photograph. They're just having a good time playing the game and, and enjoying what they're doing. Okay, so let's uh, get a little bit of a closer look and put this card under the loop. So this is a segment that I'm going to try to do moving forward on mail days, just to magnify the card by putting it under the photographer's loop, just to get a little bit more detail and also maybe even to get to see some of the uh, wear and tear that some of these cards have been through. So here's a good look at uh, Epa Rixie and the third guy from the left is uh, Grover Cleveland Alexander. He's actually on top of Sherry McGee, who's another dead ball player that uh, you're going to hear a lot about if you read about that era of baseball. But yeah, these T200 cards were made with really thin paper stock. And as a result, uh, you're going to find all kinds of wear and tear. And there's also some kind of interesting film that's uh, around it, almost like a laminate. Okay, so I just realized I forgot to show you guys the back, so let's take a look at the back real quick. It's pretty interesting. Um, basically, there was a special offer, and to summarize it for you real quick, what you did was you collected 40 cigarette coupons. One was in every pack, I'm guessing. And after you had 40 of those, you sent in your address and uh, information to this particular uh, company, and they would send along what was called the Fatima Premium. At least that's what it's called in the hobby, an enlarged version of either the card that you got or any one of the National or American League teams. And actually, now that I think about it, I want to talk about the front of this card, specifically these two really intense creases, two significant creases um, here and here. And you'll find these creases are pretty commonly in the same spot on a lot of the T200 cards. And I think that's just because when somebody opened up this pack back in the day, and found this card, if they wanted to keep it, they would just literally fold it up into a square. They just kind of fold it together and stick it in their pocket or in their wallet or maybe in the breast pocket of their jacket and just go on with their day and, you know, end up putting it in a book or maybe in a drawer somewhere and it would get forgotten about until it ends up in somebody's collection. 
So that's the T200 card for the Philadelphia Phillies. Hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at that card. I know I'm really excited to get started with this pre-war collection. Got a big card coming up soon, but until then, take care. Talk to you all soon.